I am so very honored to stand here, not only with my sisters in service and my colleagues as a congresswoman and a representative for the Massachusetts Seventh, but more than anything, as your sister in solidarity and as a survivor of sexual violence and as someone who many don't know, was a hotel worker for six years. I know what it is to be a part of a workforce that people render and treat as if it is invisible, where people look over you and through you and do not respect and honor the dignity of all work. We are so grateful for the Me Too movement and how that elevated people's consciousness and stoked a renewed commitment to tackle sexual harassment and violence and intimidation and workplace discrimination. D. Ray McKesson, an activist I respect tremendously, reminds us that it's not that the marginalized and oppressed are voiceless, it is that they are unheard. And so it is incumbent upon us as elected officials to create space for all those voices to be heard.